It's Monday, July 21st, 2008. I'm James Kotecki. Welcome to the show. I saw The Dark Knight twice this weekend and it was awesome. Sorry, I just had to get that out of my system. We're going to start with the biggest news story of the summer. Yes, folks, tell your children, email your grandparents, and then call your grandparents to explain how to open their email, because this is huge. Barack Obama is traveling. It's all over the news. So far, Obama has been checking out Afghanistan, Kuwait, and he's now in Iraq. Obama is expected to also travel to Europe, where he will likely be treated as the greatest American import since David Hasselhoff. While there, Der Spiegel reports that Berlin authorities are preparing for crowds of up to one million people for Obama's speech on Thursday. Now, personally, I'm a bit freaked out by the whole situation. I mean, a potential president who is beloved by Europeans? It just feels wrong somehow. If our staunch European allies aren't inflamed with anger, how do we know we're doing something right? Now speaking, or should I say Sprechen, of Der Spiegel, the paper ran an interview with Iraqi Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki where he essentially said he agreed with Barack Obama's 16-month time frame for U.S. troop withdrawal. This came after a Friday agreement between al-Maliki and President Bush to set a general time horizon for withdrawal. A spokesman for al-Maliki later said that, that, that his seeming pro-Obama comments were mistranslated, but Der Spiegel and the New York Times have vouched for the translation's accuracy. However, an independent Kotucky TV translation analysis has revealed that the Prime Minister was not praising the Obama plan of 16 months. He was actually saying he wanted to renew his subscription to Omaha Steaks for 16 months. That may have been the single corniest joke I have ever told on this show. Finally, we might as well extend the corniness by playing a little fill in the blank. The Associated Press reports that Focus on the Family's Dr. James Dobson will say today in a pre-taped radio piece, I never thought I would hear myself saying this, dot, dot, dot. A, I have no feeling in my tongue. B, Satan is my dark lord and master. Or C, while I am not endorsing Senator John McCain, the possibility is there that I might. You know, on second thought, it's probably more fun to just leave the answer up to your imagination. Or like a three-second Google search. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash kotechi for more videos. And don't worry, my jokes will never be this corny again. They will be cornier, right here on Kotechi TV.